Hey guys, sorry for the lack of content. I moved and I got a cat, so we're uh, a little all over the place right now. But, uh, and also, also before I get into anything, still working on the climate change video. Um, I did talk to the climatologist and they're gonna fact check my script and stuff. But in the meantime, we are going to talk about Kent Hovind. I'm going to give a little bit of his background, which includes some very terrible things, some of the crazy shit he believes, and what he does now. So let's just get into it. <gasps> so for a little bit of context, uh, Kent Hovind is a terrible person, like outside of his young earth creationist shit. Um, to give a description of who he is, if you don't know, he is... A young earth creationist, which means that you think the earth is 6,000 years old, all of Genesis was literal, so the flood really happened, Garden of Eden was real, not an allegory, totally, obviously, <laughs> I'm joking, um, are some of the things he believes among other crazy shit. And he's actually even disliked among other young earth creationists for some of the crazy stuff he believes. Um, and for a little bit of his history, he has been arrested m many times. He is a anti-taxes, tax protester kind of person, so he refuses to pay taxes, which led to him getting arrested in 2006 for tax evasion since 1998, and also trying to convince people that his diet creation museum, Dinosaur Adventureland, um, should be tax exempt even though it is not nonprofit, purely based on the grounds that it is religious. And just FYI, I don't think churches should be tax exempt anyway. He was also arrested in 2002 um, for two things. One, um, attacking his secretary. I think it was his secretary. What I read just said a uh, secretary, but I assume it was his. I don't know. For attacking a secretary, um, as well as not having a building permit for um, Dinosaur Adventureland. He was also very recently arrested in 2021 for uh, domestic violence against his estranged uh, separated wife, uh, which included throwing her. And normally I would say allegedly these things happen, but he was prosecuted for them and convicted. So very much factually these things happened. I tend to call him a meaner version of Ken Ham um, because honestly, Ken Ham is condescending and an idiot. Uh, but he's not as mean as Kent Hovind. Kent Hovind has a YouTube series called Whack an Atheist, where he just bullies atheist content creators by citing Bible verses as though that's going to change our minds, um, and hitting this little SpongeBob toy, I guess, to represent the atheists with a little mallet every time he, like, thinks they said something stupid or whatever. He also did what I would struggle to call a debate, um, with Professor Dave Explains, which was basically him avoiding all of the questions and not engaging in anything Dave said or the topic of the debate. I've considered reviewing this, but the debate itself is almost two hours. And if I'm being honest, Dave is much more qualified than me and does an amazing job explaining his points. Uh, so I don't really think that's needed, but if you want to watch it, I will link it below the version on Dave's channel, so you don't give Kent views. <laughs> and obviously, based on what I said earlier, you can conclude he has a YouTube channel, which he posts a variety of things on the Whack and Atheist thing. He also posts um, talks that he gives to kids who come to Dinosaur Adventureland, his diet creation museum park thing, which is just so infuriating because the shit he's saying to them is just absolute bullshit literally all made up and he disguises it like it's science he has fossils around his office and all this stuff and he'll show the kids fossils and all these things and makes up excuses for how fossils exist and how there's different layers in which they exist and stuff about the fossils being there because of the flood and that they fossilized due to the pressure of the water or something which is just bullshit that is not how it works as well as this convoluted, nonsensical analogy he does where he talks to the kids and he gets a mason jar and puts different types of sediment in it, like dirt, sand, rocks, whatever, and shakes it up and goes, look, this is what happened in the flood. And that's that's why there's different layers, because they settle or whatever. I, it's very convoluted and doesn't make a lot of sense. So maybe that's not how he explains it, even though I watched that clip right before recording this. 
uh, but it, it makes no sense. Uh, it's stupid. It, it doesn't have any meaning. We know how fossils formed, and we know why they're layered. He just doesn't believe in evolution, so he needs an excuse. He also gets very bitter when people talk about him uh, negatively and criticize him. He left a condescending-ass comment on one apology is videos about him. He tries to get everyone to debate him, despite obviously based on the video with Professor Dave, uh, that he's incapable of having a debate. He also calls himself a doctor, despite not having a PhD, which is so fucking misleading and obnoxious. In fact, all of his Wacken Atheist videos are titled Dr. Kenthoven, Wacken Atheist, whatever the name of the atheist he's shitting on. That's the title of them. It's very misleading. And he makes these videos on everyone from scientists and philosophers and stuff like Richard Dawkins and Sam Harris down to random content creators. Telltale and Emma doesn't get it. I also just realized uh, while looking through some of his Wack and Atheist videos that he actually did make one on Polygia. So I guess that wasn't uh, a an empty comment, I guess. I don't know. And I haven't seen the video he did on Telltale. I've just seen that it exists. But it also makes me question why he even made a video on Telltale. I think just because he's an atheist. Because Telltale is very much not like me being an anti-theist. He's very supportive of religious people as long as they're not in a cult. And he talks about cults. He doesn't talk about, like, just regular religion. So I'm like, what, what do you like cults? Because... I've never seen Owen be antagonistic to religious people. He talks about cults. So, like, what, do you just have a problem with him because he's an atheist? And, I mean, I've been watching Owen for basically since his channel came into existence, and I've never seen him antagonize religious people just for being religious. So I'm just kind of like, what's your deal here? Are you just, like, trying to get views based off of his name or something? I don't fucking know. Now, he also has some wacky beliefs that go along with him being uh, a young Earth creationist, some of which other young Earth creationists like Ken Ham and Ray Comfort actually will ridicule him for, and you know you're fucking stupid when other young Earth creationists think you're an idiot. Now, to sum up kind of the normal young Earth creationist beliefs he has, he believes that humans lived with dinosaurs, the Earth is around 6,000 years old, he thinks that evolution is separated into micro versus macro evolution. Micro evolution being things like bacteria uh, mutating and being uh, resistant to antibiotics and quote unquote macro evolution being like humans coming from Australopithecus and stuff or Homo erectus and all, the, all that. This is not a thing. Um, it's just quote-unquote microevolution is what we can see in our lifetimes, and quote-unquote macroevolution is what happens through that repeatedly happening over the long term. This is a term very often used by young Earth creationists. I've seen Ray Comfort use it, and I've seen Ken Ham use it. He also believes in a literal flood, which again is where he thinks fossils came from, and I'll get back to this later because there is a portion of that that even young Earth creationists think is stupid. He also um, has this thing he calls the Hovind theory about how all those things functioned, which includes the fossil thing, uh, which is where he thinks oil, coal, and fossils came from, um, that T-Rexes and other carnivorous dinosaurs were vegetarian until the quote-unquote fall of man in the Garden of Eden, and this last one being a major one that a lot of uh, young Earth creationists have an issue with, that uh, before the flood... The Earth's atmosphere had what he calls a vapor canopy that had a ton of water and flooded the Earth because, you know, that makes sense. Uh, I don't know, I guess a giant fucking cloud. I couldn't imagine enough water to flood the entire Earth being in a cloud above the Earth, but he doesn't have very many brain cells, so what do you expect? He also believes in a quote-unquote New World Order slash Illuminati type thing that he believes was created and orchestrated by Satan and includes, among others, the British royal family, all of Israel, the ACLU, various atheist individuals, and the major goal of this Illuminati type thing and Satan is to keep creationism out of schools. 
So among being a uh, young earth creationist, which is already stupid enough, he's also a conspiracy theorist and even made up his own conspiracy theory. Now, I want to go into Dinosaur Adventureland a little bit. Now, Kent claims that Dinosaur Adventureland is both a science museum and a theology museum. Um, and museum is really a strong word. It's an outside park with a bunch of dinosaur figurines. And combining, uh, saying that it is, and I quote, Dinosaur Adventureland is a theme park and science museum that gives God the glory for his creation. It has rides and fun-filled events and activities, each involving a physical challenge, a science lesson, and a biblical truth. You know, I don't think science lesson and biblical truth really go together. Yes, you can be a Christian and believe in science, but you're not getting any of that from the Bible. So that's an interesting statement. Now, like I mentioned earlier, he also did not have a building permit for this. Um, so I'm honestly not sure if it's even still around. I believe it is because he still uploads videos talking to kids in it, but I'm not sure. And uh, according to Ken Ham, the kind of slogan slash theme is where dinosaurs and the Bible meet, which is certainly a statement. And the main, this is aimed towards fairly young children as it is sort of loosely an amusement park. Uh, there are sort of rides like those big swings and stuff, but it is predominantly like dinosaur statues and him talking. Um, and it seems to be frequented by Bible school students, youth group kids, that kind of thing. The talks he gives in his videos generally are large groups of children um, with adults there. So I'm thinking they are probably from Bible schools and youth groups. And honestly, I've said it before, I will fucking say it again. Religion should not be taught to children, and this kind of religion should not be taught to anyone, but especially children. He is blatantly brainwashing them, and he has no fucking shame about it. Now, I will say the reason I'm not putting any of his clips in here is because he's very copyright happy. In fact, I did a video on my other channel, well, a live stream, reviewing one of his Whack and Atheist videos, and he copyright struck it. And I ended up getting it put back up, but he is very copyright happy. So there will not be any clips here, but I will be linking some of his videos below just so that you can kind of get a gist of what he talks about. Because of his weird focus on teaching it to children, he has been very active in trying to get creationism in schools and replace evolution with it. He was involved with a uh, Arkansas representative who was trying to pass an anti-evolution bill in 2001. Um, and the bill would have, quote, would have required that when public schools refer to evolution, that it be identified as an unproven theory, end quote, which is just fucking not true by definition being called a theory because the scientific meaning of theory is very different than the colloquial one. It is a proven fact. Yes, we are still learning about it, just like we're still learning about everything else that people would agree is a fact, like gravity. I think he can agree gravity exists, but there's lots of things we don't know. I mean, quantum gravity and gravity, like relativity, don't go together. But I don't think he's going to say gravity isn't real because we haven't figured out a theory of everything. He also helped a Florida pastor try and change the Florida school curriculum in 1999 um, to fund a series of videos and teaching whatever things, uh, done by Hovind. Um, and this did not happen, thankfully, despite them raising some money for it, but he was trying to get that passed with a Florida, uh, pastor. And also in 2007, he helped a previous, um, Senator, well, he didn't help him. He he was mentioned by a previous senator who was trying to get, quote unquote, better science education. And by better science education, uh, they meant teaching creationism in science class. And the website included a document by Ken, uh, or not Kent, uh, Kent, sorry, Ken Ham, Kent. They're both stupid. Um, in which Kent called evolution... Not a harmless theory, but a dangerous religious belief, which it is so fucking funny to me whenever religious people will say evolution is just based on a belief 
or a, you have to believe in it by faith or even says it's a religion as a negative thing. Like, I'm sorry why it's not, but even if it was, why is it not negative when for you, you admit it's just faith and is a religion, but it's bad when it's evolution? Like, it's not a religious belief by any sense of the word, but even if it was, why are you using that to antagonize it? Like, aren't you doing this on religious grounds? He also, uh, to get back to the conspiracy theories, has some other weird but not unheard of beliefs. He thinks that uh, basically Bush did 9-11, that UFOs are both government experiments and satanic apparitions. He also believes that a cyanide-based compound that I don't know if I'm pronouncing right, lateral cures cancer and that the government is suppressing it as well as some chronic illnesses like HIV, Crohn's, and rheumatoid arthritis among others were created by the government because you know totally the government can give you arthritis apparently. He's also um anti-democracy and has called it and I quote evil and contrary to God's law end quote. Um, and also believes that global warming is a communist conspiracy, which will be mentioned in my uh, video that is loosely titled Evangelicals and Climate Change Denial. He uh, also thinks that, like, you know how some pets you get, they get a microchip so that you can, like, if you find them or someone, you lose them and someone finds them, you can scan it and it has your information and stuff. He thinks that the government is putting those in people to track them through satellite, which by the way is uh, not even how pet microchips work. You cannot track a pet through a microchip. The purpose of a microchip is that if someone finds your pet and there's no collar, they can take them to a vet or a shelter and say, can you scan this animal for a microchip so I know if it belongs to someone? Uh, that, so no, you can't, you can't track people through pet microchips. Sorry, Kent that's pretty easy to disprove because that's not how they work. He also thinks barcodes are the quote mark of the beast and that he had supposedly seen people paying for groceries by having their hands scanned by a barcode on it. And so that's the end of the conspiracy theories. There's probably more I couldn't find, honestly. But yeah, he's a little, little mentally deficient, but... uh. It'd be like that, I guess. Whenever you believe the Earth is 6,000 years old, you don't have very many standards. And the last thing I want to mention is kind of brief. It's just his YouTube copyright issues. Like I said earlier, he's very copyright claim happy, which is why there are no clips of him in this video. He is known for filing a plethora of DMCA requests to the point where someone threatened a lawsuit on him. And most of these videos that he's copyright claimed have been put back up because he really just tries to get things removed that criticize his ideas, which honestly says a lot uh, about your arguments if you are not confident enough to let people have videos up where they criticize you. So I hope that that was a sufficient overview of how fucking crazy Kent Hovind is. He's not just a young earth creationist who manipulates children, but he's also an extreme conspiracy theorist who doesn't understand how microchips work. I will be linking some of his videos below as well as the debate with Professor Dave Explains. If you're interested in it, uh, I would recommend putting on ad block for any of his videos. Just don't give him your money. Uh, ad block is great. But the debate I'm linking will be on Dave's channel, so don't worry about it for that. But I hope this was interesting. Have a great day, guys. How that? The populace in